Hello, my crafty friends. These are the cards that I am that I've made for Christmas and sent out, and uh, I am going to show you how I went about making these. I got a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest uh, and some other consultants. So here we go. I organized. I did all the die cutting, most of the die cutting to begin with, and I sorted them in one of these boxes that I use for sorting my kits. Um, so I've got, you know, all sorts of thin cuts that I've made and some uh, Cricut cuts also. So I uh, have, have found a lot of the things like these um, cute little hollies on some of my digital art from Close to My Heart. And that has just been really uh, a wonderful thing. You get so many images to choose from and then you size them accordingly. So here are the papers that I started off with, and I made, I did some embossing and made some uh, snowflake backgrounds and found some older papers and cut some five and a half by four and a quarter pieces for backgrounds of the cards. And these are the inspirations that I used. So everything but the sketch there, uh, I got off of Pinterest. And uh, nothing is exact. So it's just, like I said, inspiration to kind of figure out where I'm going. And I really like that tree, but I don't have that tree as a Cricut cut. So that's the one I used. So just the difference is open and closed. And these are really pretty simple cuts. There's a lot of four by fours and five and a half by four and a quarter and uh, strips that are like one or one and a half inches by four or one and a quarter inches. Uh, so they're all pretty simple, and so I kind of went through and kind of figured out what my cuts were going to be beforehand and just made some little notes for myself so that when I did cut, it would be very quickly. So the things that go from side to side are going to be five and a half inches long. Top to bottom is four and a quarter. And so I also, these are also some, some much older papers that I went ahead and found and cut. And I'm using, um, that is from our winter collection of four seasons in our core catalog. I happen to love this paper, just really, really like it. And so then I found some other papers that went with the kit of Christmas Story and some mix-ins. And so I love this paper. And so that's going to be used for uh, some other, other cards later on. I'll be showing you that too. I've, I've done quite a few different cards this year. I didn't do a kit. I almost always do a Close to My Heart Christmas card kit because you get 16 cards and then if you need to make a few more to you know, go to however many you send cards out to, have however many people you send cards to. Um, but it's a great, great start. But I didn't do that this year, so I'm running way behind the eight ball. Fortunately, these, so I just cut four four by fours, or three four by fours. So, of course, when you're cutting four inches, you're going to get three squares out of it. And these are going to be like five, four by five and a quarter, probably. So I'm definitely, for next year, I'm going to do a Christmas card kit. Um, so if you take a five and a quarter by four, and four uh, five and a half by four and a quarter, and you cut a, a diagonal, then you get some nice diagonal cards, which is a really nice change of pace. So I'm going to go ahead and make some strips that are one and a quarter by five and a half, I think. And then I've got, I used Scarlet to go with, that's our darker red as opposed to Candy Apple, which is a really bright red. So the darker one goes real well with this. Uh, it's on the list with the with the uh, winter 
uh, Four Seasons paper. So I'm going to use my bone folder and start start making the cards. And so this is four four by four. So you just get a little bit of an edge of white around there, and that just gives it a nice finishing touch, I think, to have a little bit of the white showing. And it's one inch, that strip is one inch. So these are, like I said, these are very, very simple cuts. And um, although you don't get the cutting diagram on Pinterest, you can really kind of figure it out on your own. So you know, don't you just love that paper? You know, but we had a Boxing Day sale starting today, and it is all sold out. It was on there to sell. It'll probably be coming back because it's in the core catalog. But for sale right now, it's it's not available. Anyway, so they did a number of these using the 4x4, four four, which, you know, just, um, you know, you can take the orientation of things and change it around and make it look like a completely different card. Or if you're going to use the solid card stock for the 4x4 four four or the printed card stock in 4x4, four four, you're going to make it look completely different. So, um, you know, it's kind of a nice... Now, I thought, see, I thought that was silly me. I thought it was like a 4-inch square. But it's when you go, when you put the square on a diagonal, so it's a diamond... It's much, much smaller. It's like three inches or so. You see that T-square? It's on sale on the uh, boxing sale. You save about five or six bucks on it. It's a good deal. So I'm just trying to figure out what what the diagonal is and how big to make it. I'm trying to do, you know, if I was better at geometry, I'd be able to do this, but I totally did awful on geometry. Did not did not get it at all. So there were so that's like three by three. And so I've got to make this a quarter of an inch smaller than the three Three by three. So there we go. And, you know, so here we're looking at squares and just a strip that's two and a half inches wide that is just going down the middle of a card. So we're talking about really simple card layouts, but they don't look simple. I don't think they do anyway. Um, they just look really, really pretty and festive, and they don't look simple. It doesn't look like a, you know, simplified version of just throwing something together. Because they are, there are multi layers at least. So, and I do like that little scalloped uh, circle. And see how good the little holly leaves look on there. So I, I have to say, I had a good time doing this, even though you know it's a little bit of thinking involved. Not a whole lot, fortunately. But um, I'm just sorry I didn't get this out sooner. It was, uh, I don't know what my problem was, but I, this is the latest I've ever gotten my Christmas cards out. So everybody's probably going to get them a little bit late, maybe today, in the mail. So um, anyway, you can use this for next year. Or, you know, if you're smart, which is what I want to do, <laughs> is make my Christmas cards a whole lot earlier. Uh, this, honest to goodness, I wasn't doing this until like a week before Christmas, not even. I mean, I just feel terrible that I was, I don't know, I guess it was just too much going on today, this uh, month, for me to handle it. So that looks awful. So I made this little bracket. I've made a whole bunch of them. There, That came off of one of the Cricut cuts um, from Close to My Heart, too. And so I cut the white glitter cardstock, and then the white glitter was just cut a quarter of an inch smaller. 
So it made for a nice little uh, place to put a sentiment. So I went through quite a few cards. I don't know how many I ended up making, but... This is also part of... Um, hmm. Maybe the... Now see how good that paper looks with it? That may be, be a mix-in. And the... I think the white looks better. And I've stuck with it. Well, what can you say? The uh, red glitter paper. Um, a lot of these papers I have picked from my stash. So the red glitter paper is one of, one of those things that's a stash paper. This is a stash paper. So I ended up using quite a bit of stash paper um, to make these cards. And, you know, that that is something that always makes me feel good is when I get to use um, stuff from my stash because, you know, you get collect scraps, you collect, uh, you know, kind of nice size pieces, um, and then you never use them. And so this is a chance to, especially when you're using these small bits like I'm making a strip card here um, so they're one and a quarter inch uh, strips that go across the I didn't quite cut all the way through there Boom, got it so um, I'm just alternating the strips there now you talk about a simple card I mean that's just super super easy and it gives you a chance to use a bunch of your scraps from your from your uh, stash. So, you know, this is, I'm kind of going through and showing you all the things that I've put together here that I need to adhere down and then do some stamping. And um, see, they're pretty, pretty simple. I mean, we're not talking, you know, that many pieces of paper. So it's not like each card is six or seven pieces of paper. You know, and that can happen with the kits. The kits can be very complex. Um, so these are considerably easier um, than that. So it just kind of depends on what you what you want to do. I mean, sometimes you want to make complex things, you know, and people really enjoy them. And uh, then other times, you know, it's like, well, I didn't have time for complex. So we're going it with a simpler version of things I, that I normally make. But um, like I said, this gives you a chance to use your scraps and things from your stash. So that's, that's a good thing. And it, you know, just helps getting, getting the mass of paper down to a, you know, I don't know, does it ever get under control? Mine isn't under control. But, and then you've got the picture and it's just super simple. Now this is the stamp of the month from November. And so it's got some good um, sentiments. And this one I pulled out. I organize my stamps according to, like, holidays. So I have a Christmas section for stamps. And it just kind of makes life easy when you're, you know, doing a particular holiday. For me, at least. Um, so I went ahead and picked out a few that had you know, nice sentiments, but they couldn't have been, they couldn't be too big because all of my places to put sentiments are pretty small. Like that circle, that white daisy circle there is pretty, pretty small. And I also use some of my M stamps, which are the little tiny stamps. So, you know, this is another good way. So all of these stamps, um, well, the November one is just, you know, from a few weeks ago. But the rest of these stamps, these are from my stash. So it's kind of nice to use things from your stash, even if it's, you know, whether it's paper or stamps or whatever. But you want to think, okay, I bought all these stamps and I never use them. So this is a chance to, you know, get some use out of, out of ones. So I end up, I haven't sold any of my stamps, very few if I have. Uh, and so I have hundreds and hundreds of stamps. 
So, you know, you want to put them to use. And so I uh, pulled out, now the, the pine, I had one of my brighter greens out, but it's just too bright for these papers. So I pulled out my new um, ink pad pine, that's a fairly new color, and um, I also pulled out a whole bunch of the um, Christmassy type shimmer trim. So I've got gold and silver and red. I've got some green, light green and dark green. There's silver. So, um, and then I've also, of course, I've got white when all else fails. But that isn't enough contrast for this. And the silver, the silver is nice. always think of silver bells so but it's you know when you're dealing with Christmas you always want to <laughs> add a little glitz right so you know the shimmer trim is perfect this is also something that I keep mounds of and I keep them in the little M stamp organizers and um, they fit perfectly in there and I get to put in collections according to color because um, I've got two at least two M stamp holders for my shimmer trim. And I've also pulled out for some more glitz the uh, little, what is that called? It's like a silver and gold thread. And so it's kind of nice to adhere it onto the back and then make some loops and kind of spread them out a little bit just for a little bit of, of glitter. I'm glitzy glitziness. So I'm thinking I kind of wish I put some distress. So what I'm doing is I'm just edging the card in scarlet. Just to, you can't really appreciate it on the camera, but uh, just to add a little definition to the edge. So I'm going to use another I'm using my little Santa from my to-go cup stamps, and that is going to be my little logo for the back for the Christmas of this year, just the little Santa face, because he's so he's such a pretty little Santa, and I'm also using him on my envelopes. So I'm not coloring him in or anything. I just don't, <clears throat> don't have the time for that. And this is from, I think this was the October stamp of the month, and this is a great one for making tags, but it's also good for sentiments on the inside of the card. <clears throat> so I'm just trying to figure out what to, I put it on a block. So I've got all these blocks ready to go. I just don't even know what to, what to use for the inside. See, a lot of times I don't even use the inside, but I mean, I do a sentiment on the inside, but since these are all going to family and friends, um, then, and I don't really, this is the first time in years and years and years that I haven't written a letter. So I'm just in pine, I'm putting, you know, wishing you a joyful Christmas. So that's my first card. Yay, one down. So I'm just going to put these together, and I think what I'll do is just kind of run some music behind here.
Okay, I'm back, and uh, I'm just kind of trying to whip through the cards here. I've sped up the uh, fast forward a little bit, and uh, just wanted to let you know I've got another one or two um, more videos coming of Christmas cards because I found, after I did these, I found more people that I needed to send cards to. So um, I am going to be using uh, some more inspiration from sketches and uh, what else? No telling. I know sketches for sure. Um, but, and there's also some, some things I started making, I started thinking about. So I'll be working on those too. I just... Uh, I'm zooming right along here. Now the hard part is getting everything addressed and sent out. So here we go on to the strip. This is just super simple. You know, all of these cards you can use with whatever kind of paper. So you can make Valentine's cards, you can make birthday cards, um, you can make Easter cards. All of these uh, different patterns can be used for with any any kind of paper. So um, it's it just makes card making a whole lot simpler when you um, you know come up with some patterns and uh, just kind of go with them. So and you know that they're gonna come out looking good so you kind of have an idea of how they're going to come out looking so um and you know you can make you know brackets to add different colors to coordinate with the paper to jump out from your background papers and uh that's you know that just people will appreciate the work that you've you've done and you know how you thought about them when you made the cards. So uh, I'm finishing up here. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and, you know, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd appreciate it. And um, hope you all had a great Christmas. And here's to a, a good new year. We all need a happy new year. Life has been rough lately. So Try to make it a happy, happy new year. So I will see you for the next couple of videos, and hopefully I can keep up with doing more videos on a more timely, in a more timely manner. So see how super simple that is? Simple, simple. And when you find some, some sentiments that you like, you know, I don't think people are going to go comparing your cards to everybody else's cards. So there were, there we go. And then my, of course, my Santa on my envelope. Ta-da! So thanks for watching, and I will see you with some other cards to make. Bye now. Hi, I'm Dorothy Smith. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and learn along with me. Thanks. Bye-bye.